All right, guys. Okay, Third just, time uh, is the charm. We are okay. going to hopefully be able to finish this video. Um, if for some we can't, then we're just going to try to do it tonight. And if it doesn't work tonight, yeah, we'll just then we're to just going to have to figure something out. Yeah, for some reason, oh, we keep getting booted off. Boys, there's on 4 o'clock today, we have the Zoom meeting, and we don't have tonight, so. That's right. Four o'clock today is our Zoom kid time. No bedtime story tonight. So download Zoom if you haven't. I'm going to email you the link, and I would like you to get on with me today at fr uh, Friday at four o'clock. And Jaden, we have so much fun just talking and hanging out because it's Friday. So it's a day to celebrate at the end of the day and just kind of see how your week went because um, I know you guys are hopefully just as excited as we are that it's Friday. Um, one week closer to the end of the year. school year <laughs> school year yeah. that's right so today's title from our devotion jesus is calling is what connor smile in the face of trouble so we might be more like a bearing a grin like gosh but we try to smile in the face of trouble from philippians 4 13 it, um, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Don't waste your time wishing all of your problems away. In this world, you will have problems. So that's a promise. You will have problems. That's just the way it is here on this earth. We've talked about that. But rejoice and be thankful. Why? Because you're my child. And that means you have an eternity of problem-free living waiting for you in heaven. No one can take that awesome future away from you. And while you are here on earth, I will equip you for whatever troubles come your way. Start each day by asking me for my help. Tell me everything that is worrying you and I will give you, I will guide you through your troubles. I promise. So that's also a promise. We will have troubles, but who's going to guide us, Connor? God and Jesus. Yeah, and that so, Holy Spirit inside of us. Try to see problems as I see them. Challenges that you and I can handle together. Challenges that will make you stronger. Remember, together, you and I can do anything. Even smile in the face of trouble. <laughs> Connor, would you read John? I think he's having too much fun looking at himself in the video camera. Smile, uh, not smile. Read John 13, 6, 1633. Your smile's distracting me. <laughs> 1633. I, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Have on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. That's right. So he's promising we're going to have problems, but we can have hope because he has already overcome the world. He's already won the battle. So let's just continue to trust in him for everything. He gives us everything we need, which leads us to our next section of the Lord's Prayer that we've been learning. Our challenge this whole week and next week, because we're going to be going through each uh, verse of the Lord's Prayer one week or one verse at a time so that we get it from our heads to our hearts. And the way we do that is memorize it in your head and i want to see a video this week or next week of you um, reciting the lord's prayer okay so that i know you're getting it in your head and as we're reading through each verse and breaking each verse down when we understand it it gets written more upon our hearts to where it has more meaning when we pray it but the lord's prayer is the way jesus taught us to pray which is our father who is in heaven Holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It's a wonderful prayer. Today's section we're talking about... Um, that Jesus will give us everything we need, that uh, give us today our daily bread, that's give us today the food we need. We can trust that God will provide everything for us um, each day. We don't need to store up 
things for like months at a time or weeks at a time. God will give us each day just what we need for that day. We can trust him. Um, 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, God will generally, generously provide all you need. Then you'll always have everything you need and plenty left over to share. That reminds me of a story in the Bible. Do you remember which story that was? Which story? Where he gave them what they needed for that day and they had plenty to share. Leftovers. You remember? I put them on the spot. Yeah. When they fed um, the 5,000 with the fish and the uh, five loaves of bread. The two fish and the five loaves of bread. And then they still had plenty left over. Okay? That's just the way it is. God will always give you plenty uh, for each day. So when we pray that, give us today the food we need. We can trust that God will give us whatever we need today. So your challenge today is to memorize, to memorize the, Lord's, the prayer. Lord's Prayer. That's right. And send me a video, okay? Other challenge, though, is because it's Friday, tune in at 4 o'clock today for our Zoom call. Um, I'm going to email it out uh, so that you guys can link in and we can see each other and hang out and talk and um, just see how your week went. It'll be really fun. It's called Kid Time, though. So kids, just you guys and me and Jaden, it'll be so much fun. Kids our, and me and Jaden. Well, <laughs> I'll be on there, too. i got to get it on. So anyway, love you all. Uh, let's pray and close this out, okay? God, we thank you for who you are and for teaching us so many things, especially how to pray. And God, just that um, you do provide all that we need. Help us to trust that if we just ask you for help, whether it's in trouble or whether it's to provide the things that we need, that we will just have hope knowing that you have done it before and God, you will do it again. And today you will give us just what we need and with plenty left over to share. Help us to share what we have with others including the name of Jesus, so that all will be able to put their hope in you. Bye. We love you. Help us to have a wonderful weekend and celebrate our mothers this weekend on Sunday for Mother's Day. Without them, we wouldn't even be here. So help us to celebrate our mamas this weekend in Jesus' name. Amen. Forgot that. Celebrate your mamas. Okay, do something special. And, um, Isn't it on Sunday? Yeah. So guys, you got like, today and tomorrow to prepare something special for your mama. It doesn't take much to make a proud mom. They're just so proud of you for everything that, just for who you are. So just telling them how much you love them, write a little note um, is gonna mean so much to them. Just that you took the time out of your day of doing what you wanted to do, to do something for her. Sometimes people might, your moms might just want a helping hand, okay? Or a really good hug. Or, you know, maybe a letter or a drawing. Or if you do crafts, maybe you can make them something, okay? But the point is, is that it's something from your heart to her heart. Love you guys. Have a great Bye. weekend. See you tonight at 4. At 4 on the dot.